What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in my opinion, one of the most underrated features in D5 Render is the parallax assets that you can use to add detail to buildings without adding geometry. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use those, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna work with a Scene Express example model, which I can link to in the notes down below. Um, but this is a great model for um, showing you how the parallax assets work. So right now, if we take a look at this model, right? Notice how the overall building model, everything like that is a 3ds Max file, which we can toggle on and off in here, right? And notice how at the moment, what they've done is they've actually used um, different real 3D spaces with two dimensional objects behind them in order to add the detail um, that's in the background of some of the different stores and things like that. So this is super cool um, the way that they've done that. Um, I definitely like the way that they've done that, but there's a better way using the parallax assets that are in D5 render. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete a couple of these out. So we've got some space to work, right? So I'm just gonna delete a couple of these out. Um, I don't wanna delete all of these. I just want to delete a couple of them, maybe this one right here. And so then if we toggle our max file back on, notice how what we've got is we've got this building in here, but we've got some very boring windows and spaces, right? So this first one right here is an area where I deleted out what was in the background right here. But what we wanna do is we wanna add some detail in here, but I don't really want to model um, the actual interiors of this space. Um, that's not really a good use of my time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up into the assets section of D5 render, and you wanna be in the model section. Well, if you scroll down, there are options in here for interior parallax. So what interior parallax is, is these are two dimensional images that take advantage of, um, it's almost like a trick that they use to take a two dimensional image and make it look three dimensional. But let's say for example, that we wanted to add a commercial window display in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this onto the surface right here like this and I'm gonna click. And we can go ahead and close out of our asset browser for a second. And so if we look at this, what this is, is this is basically a two dimensional image, but it doesn't look two dimensional, which is what makes this really cool. So let's toggle our 3ds Max file off, our base file really quick and take a look at this. So if I look at this, remember these are the kind of like backdrop files that came along with this. Um, and these were created as a part of that 3ds Max file. This is the image we just created. Well, if we look at this, it looks completely three dimensional, right? But if I move around, Notice how it's actually not, it's just a two dimensional image that sits, um, that basically sits on top of things in our model. This is very cool for a couple reasons. The biggest is, notice how if I fly into this, I'm actually gonna fly through it. There's not actually geometry in here, meaning that it's a very light load on our computer. Um, so when we drag these in here, we're not adding any additional geometry in here to drag our performance down. Another cool thing about this is this also gives you the ability to adjust the position of the elements in here if you wanna have them. So I can use this to adjust the position of that element to make this space look bigger or smaller like this using a slider right here. But again, there's no actual model in this space. So we could also come in here and if we toggle this max file back on, we could also resize this um, because it's just an image, right? So we're gonna toggle this back on. Because this is just an image, you can come in here and you can adjust um, the scale on this. So I can click and drag like this in order to make this bigger and smaller. I could also move it around if I wanted to. And so there's a ton of these parallax assets contained inside of the uh, pro version, right? So you get a couple of these for free up above, but notice how down below, um, these start getting labeled as pro. And, and so there's just a better collection of these parallax assets in the pro version. So you can actually go in here and look at these, um, even if you have the free version. But like, for example, say I wanted to bring an office in, I'm just going to download this office file, which is not going to be a very big file. So notice how it downloads pretty quickly. Then I can just drag that in right here, and I can click, and then I can come in here and adjust this, right? So I want this to be back behind right here. I wanna move it down, 
and I also want to scale it. So I'm just gonna drag the size down right here um, so that it fits better in this window. You may have to make a few adjustments in order to get that to work. But again, you're getting that same effect of a lit up office in here. And so if I was to hold the shift key and duplicate this, notice I can use this to add multiple different offices in here at the same time. And again, notice how you can adjust the position of the desk in here, right? So I can move this so the desk is further back, closer, other things like that. The other cool thing about this, and I want to align this so that there's no gap in here, so you can also adjust the light in the scene, right? So I can adjust this so that this has a bluer light temperature or um, a warmer light temperature just by using these sliders in here. You can also adjust that brightness using this lighting setting right here. So this is a super fast way to be able to add this additional detail in here. And so there's also like residential interiors in here. So if I wanted to add a residential interior, I can just click on the download button right here. It'll bring this right down. And then I can just click and place this in my scene. So I'm just gonna drag this in my scene. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna move it back a little bit. You can move this up and down in order to adjust the way that this works. But again, notice how these are all two dimensional. Right, so if I toggle off my model file, then I look at these from the side, you can see that the parallax assets right here are the ones that are just 2D with no additional geometry in here. So super fast, super easy to use in order to add this detail in your renderings. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about D5 Render and about this function. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do wanna check out the pro version at a discounted rate, you can do that through my link on this page or in the notes down below. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.